Hello and welcome to another 3 Dicom video. In this video, we're looking at how to capture screenshots using 3 Dicom Lite so that you can better communicate your 3D volumetric model of the patient specific anatomy and also the raw slices from the Dicom data. So as always, the 3D model sits here in the interactive zone uh, when you first open the program and you can easily take a screenshot by clicking on the image, uh, clicking on the camera up here. However, we want to change where we're saving the image. So we can click on settings, capture, and change save location. We can then choose anywhere on this computer uh, to save our files. So we'll choose the desktop. Close that. And we can now take a screenshot of the 3D model. You'll see that the screen quickly has a white flash, meaning that the, the image has been captured. We can also scroll through and look at all of the various uh, slices in the axial plane, coronal plane, and sagittal plane, with the slice number being uh, shown on the uh, right-hand side. So as we scroll through, we might get to slice 190. We can now click here, and it will capture that image there. These get stored at your chosen file location and allow you to quickly uh, communicate uh, particular slices of interest and also uh, anything of interest in the 3D scan. So we can further strip away some of the uh, skin here and have a look at the bone. We can take a screenshot of that and this can be uh, easily communicated what we might do and what's nice to do in some of these scans is to remove the CT scanner bed by changing the coronal plane and bring it just to where it starts to cut in uh, to the patient anatomy so that you're left with very few artifacts in the scan. You can then click on the camera and capture these scans out. Upgrading to 3 Dicom Pro and Surgical will allow you to capture measurements, annotations and drawings inside of the scans as well. Uh, for that next level of patient and surgical uh, interaction and education. Thanks for watching the video, and, and as always, uh, please reach out with support at singular.health for any queries.